Good morning, everyone. Hope you, hope you had a very solid breakfast, because I'll be talking about food, in fact, groceries. My name is Peter Fichinkov. I'm founder of the INS Ecosystem. We operate in one of the most traditional, yet one of the largest consumer markets in the world. The grocery industry is expected to reach $8.5 trillion globally. And we've been in the space for the last for the last four and a half years, having created Instamart, which is the largest venture-backed grocery delivery company in Russia. And we've been talking a lot to manufacturers, from small farmers to the multinational companies like PepsiCo, Coca-Cola, Procter & Gamble, and others. And we realized that these companies want to sell directly to consumers. They want to market their goods directly to consumers. But they currently have limited opportunities to do so because retailers dominate the grocery landscape. They have successfully ring-fenced consumers from manufacturers. And the United Kingdom uh, that you see on this slide is a very good example. With 7,000 manufacturers, 25 million households, and four retailers controlling 76% of the market share. In fact, when you come to a grocery store, you're at the end of a very long and inefficient supply chain. Manufacturers wholesalers, retailers, a bunch of logistics providers in between, and then us consumers. And this supply chain hasn't changed much since early 20th century. And it's expensive to run and inefficient. And we started thinking about the ways to uh, solve this problem. And with our interest in blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and smart contracts, we realized they provide with a viable solution to help manufacturers sell directly. And that's how we started the INS ecosystem, which is a decentralized marketplace connecting grocery manufacturers, consumers, and third-party fulfillment providers. We've also realized there is excess capacity in terms of fulfillment in the industry. Companies that own warehouses and delivery fleet are looking to utilize their assets to full extent. And, ex and instead of renting or building our own infrastructure, we are building a platform that enables anyone who runs a fulfillment infrastructure to connect to and move groceries from manufacturers to consumers. And this is similar to Uber or Airbnb approach when we, do not, when we help um, the, the, the owners of the current assets to increase the utilization of them. And that enables us to uh, fulfill the orders at a fraction of traditional cost. What we also do, we enable manufacturers to run bespoke loyalty programs directed at consumers, and I'll talk about it a little bit later on. And importantly, this is not a theoretical concept. We have non-binding memoranda of understanding signed with uh, the companies you see on the slide over there, and you might recognize some of the largest names in the, in the industry, including Unilever, Mars, Rekit Bin Kaiser, Valio, and others. And following the Telegraph and Daily Mail coverage of the INS ecosystem two weeks ago, we've been inundated by requests from manufacturers to sign up for this platform. Companies like Kraft Heinz, Johnson & Johnson, Kellogg, uh, Henkel, as well as small manufacturers and f coffee farmers from Brazil, um, meat manufacturers from Scotland, are looking forward to uh, INS as a new channel to reach their consumers. And uh, let me talk a little bit about the marketing in the consumer packaged goods space. 24% of costs for manufacturers is marketing. In fact, it's second highest expense after the cost of goods. And, and the only channels that manufacturers could reach you through is either bombard you with TV advertisement, doesn't work anymore, millennials don't watch TV, or they could do in-store promotions, and the retailer takes a huge cut on this. So we, uh, we enable manufacturers to run bespoke loyalty programs powered by smart contracts. They could code in any logic they want, and whenever a consumer fulfills the conditions, he or she gets the reward. And this is where the INS token comes into play. It's the only means of reward in the loyalty program. So think about it as airline miles, but more advanced because it could be personalized, it could be targeted, it's run on smart contracts and doesn't require a huge back office to run the loyalty program. And this is an entirely new tool that all of the manufacturers we have talked to so far are extremely interested. 
It's their way to reach customers directly, to build relationship with them, and to uh, start building a loyal audience. Team. We have people based in Amsterdam, Boston, Houston, and Moscow. We, as I mentioned, have almost five years of operating experience in the grocery space. As consultants and bankers, we have worked with uh, some of the largest retailers and manufacturers. Uh, prior to uh, INS and Instamart, I was with uh, Goldman Sachs and IBM and with Harvard Business School. My co-founder, Dmitry, is an experienced investor in uh, retail companies. And we have three Harvard Business School MBAs uh, as part of our team. Uh, as I mentioned, we created Instamart, a successful camp company, raised $10 million from investors like Mail.ru Group, which is a publicly listed internet company, the founders of Kiwi, as well as former vice president of Walmart and vice chairman of Jet.com. We have delivered over 100,000 orders already. Uh, extremely proud of our board of advisors, uh, which includes um, Michael Turpin, Ayal Herzog from Bancor, David Washman from Washman PR, Professor Ravi Abdelal from Harvard Business School, Sebastian Stupurak from Vinx, uh, Dmitry Filatov from ICO Shark and ICO Rating, as well as others. Uh, the roadmap. So we have confirmed interest from manufacturers. We keep talking to more manufacturers to sign them up. Uh, for the platform, and, and we are active listeners at this stage. We started the development of the, uh, of, of the platform. We are running a, a, a public uh, ICO soon, and we will be uh, developing, finalizing the development of the platform in the first half of 2018, with a pilot launch in either Amsterdam or Moscow in the second half of 2018, and rolling out the platform afterwards. Uh, and again, we are building a platform we are not building an application. We, want, we are building software that enables manufacturers to sell directly to consumers, to market directly to consumers, and fulfillment providers could get extra revenue and higher utilization of their assets. Uh, our token sale starts in two weeks, on November the 27th. Uh, it's a utility token. Again, we, do not, we are realistic. We don't expect customers to pay for their groceries in tokens. Token is the means of reward program. It's uh, your loyalty points that you could spend on the platform uh, and redeem it towards future, uh, future pur purchases. It's an ERC-20 compliant token. Uh, we are currently in our private sale round and would be happy to discuss it with you in case you're interested. And thank you very much for your time and have a wonderful day.